I cannot stop eating these Girl Scout cookies. I was sent a PR package from Sigma and they had sent me these Girl Scout cookies. I did not know that these were a thing. <laughs> Maybe this is just me being Northern Irish or just silly. <laughs> I genuinely just thought they were a gimmicky American TV show thing or just something that they do in the movies. That was the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. N4 and N5. I'm going to mix these two foundations, the Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover. I have not used this foundation in such a long time. It's the most beautiful full coverage foundation. It's amazing. So of course I'm wanting to go for like a more full coverage look today on the skin because we're going full glam. I want to do a 90s inspired full glam. I don't really know what a full glam would look like in the 90s but I'm going to do my own twist on it. I'm going to do what I think and what I would consider a 90s full glam would look like. I can always just google it and get inspo but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just going to wing it and see what we do. I'm of course going to be using the Beauty Bay Smoky Palette. So we're going to be incorporating obviously cool tones and maybe a couple of warm tones as well. We'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Look how amazing that foundation is. This is the strangest comparison ever. But I feel like my skin just looks like rubber. <laughs> like it just looks so smooth, so perfect, so just squidgy and perfect. This foundation. Oh, it just looks like porcelain. From Be Perfect again, Full Impact Concealer. Um, oh no, hold on, what shade? So I have M1, I'm gonna try M1 actually. That was L3. I don't think I've tried this shade yet. M1. L3. Oh my God, has anybody seen the name made by Mitchell products? The bronze and pods. What's it called? Like the ultimate blush palette, blurish palette. Oh my god! I'm gonna let that concealer just chill there for a minute, and then I'm gonna take my Soul Body. Is it Soul Body? Yeah. God, I haven't used this wee bronzer in a long time either. Yeah, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just start bronzing while that concealer just chills there for a minute or two. So this is just the wee cream bronzer from Colourpop. You can use this on the face or on the body, but I just like to use it as a cream bronzer. The shade I take is medium dark. Oh, and I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I now have a affiliate link with Colourpop. It is linked in the description box for you. So if you ever want to shop through Colourpop, if I'm using a product that you want or like, feel free to use. My link down below, it is affiliate, so it just means that if you shop through using that site um, through that link, I will earn like the tiniest bit of commission. <laughs> I've been absolutely loving this wee cream blush recently from She Glam or Shane, the uh, Dolce Vita colour. So I take quite a lot of it because I feel like it's quite a sheer wee blush. Like there's pigment there, but it can be quite sheer once you start to blend it. So I just start off naughty with quite a lot of it. But it blends out seamlessly. But it's the most beautiful colour. I'm going to take this wee colour pop cheek palette. I'm going to use this shade here. In fact, no, I'm going to take just the two of these, just to mix between the two. Um, Pink Honey Catchy Cookie. Whatever way I read that, it was Coochie. <laughs> For the eyes, I'm of course going to be taking the Smoky Palette from Beauty Bay. Um, I'm definitely wanting to do like a full glam 90s inspired makeup look, but a smoky eye. Um, obviously I'm going to say that lightly and please take it lightly. Um, it's just going to be like my version. <laughs> what I think like a full glam 90s smoky eye might look like. 
Um, it's just my cat, we're just going to have fun. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush to start with. And maybe graphite. So, oh I just stuck my nail on it. Ew. So yeah, graphite. No, what? Why does that look darker on camera than it does in person? Hold on, let me give this a swatch. No. No. What? No, that's far too grey. Why does it not look grey in the pan? Cabin? Stormy? Oh, what was that colour? What was that colour? Oh no, what was that colour? Right, okay, cabin? Nightmare! <laughs> so, cabin. Oh, I haven't actually used this colour yet. I feel like any time I've been doing these tutorials, um, I've nearly been sticking to the majority of the same shades. So... Right, so this is a cold toned brown in the palette. I feel like because this is quite dark, I might want to take a smaller brush. Oh, that's the exact same brush. <laughs> okay. If I'd known, do you know what? I'm just going to wing it. And I'm just going to start applying this. What on earth is going on? This is the brown shade, Cabin. I'm using. Why does it look grey on my eyes? So I was just watching a TikTok live there and I have to say this is a pet peeve of mine and it's also it's also an unpopular opinion but hear me out. You see any girl that listens to Chris Brown it just it infuriates me as to why some girls still to this day support and listen to Chris Brown. I I'm, so I'm sorry, did we all just forget? I know like the whole Chris Brown and Rihanna situation happened like, yeah, okay, I get it, how many years ago? But here's the thing, this is the way I look at it, right? If my friend was left in the shape that Rihanna was left in by Chris Brown, because let's all just remember her face, like that, that picture, like we can all picture what picture it is, right? <laughs> like that wasn't just like a couple wee slaps, like he beat the fuck out of her. Now if that was one of your best mates, or your sister, or your mum, or any female in your life, would you support that fella? Would you be like, oh, it was six years ago, forgive and forget. <laughs> a woman beater and an abuser, they're all the same. You can't just pick and choose. <laughs> You can't just pick and choose. I do apologise, like, if you're offended that I'm questioning you as a person because you listen to Chris Brown. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's just, like, that's just the way I see it. You know, like, just because somebody has a social status and they're famous doesn't mean that I'm going to, like, treat them or hold them on a higher pedestal to someone, like, an everyday type of person. Just because you have a fan base or you're rich and famous doesn't mean that you should just be able to get away with things like that. Like, no way. No way, Jose. And I feel like most girls who actually do listen to Chris Brown, you're a fucking hypocrite. Because no doubt if that was your mom, your sister, your best mate, I don't know, your daughter for heaven's sake, that was beat up like that, there's no way you would support that man. No way. But you're okay to support Chris Brown. I'm so confused though. This colour on my eyes. So this is the shade that I'm using. Does it look like the colour that's on my lids? Heck no! I'm gonna go into the onyx. I'm going to again further deepen up that crease and outer corner. I wasn't gonna mention this. I'm gonna address it. I'm aware that I do this and trust me I try so hard not to. But I'm sure if you're a frequent watcher of my channel, you would know that I have this thing. I laugh after every sentence. Don't laugh. You're like I'm sure you are. You're, I'm sure you have bound to have noticed that I do it. I'll just laugh at the end of every sentence, and it's not funny at all. Somebody had said, in fact, you know what? I'm going to get the comment because I cannot remember what they had said or what they had asked, but they were basically bring a light to it. I basically just asked, do you mean to laugh after nearly every word? Yeah. 
I just thought again, you know what I mean? And I cannot help it. But yeah, I'm literally just wanting to bring this to your guys' attention because if it's annoying, I'm aware, I'm sorry. Um, because sometimes, like, I find myself actually editing out. I'm not joking. I will literally have to edit out the fact that I laugh or just just do a giggle at the end of nearly every sentence. I'm gonna go into clouds and I might take a mixture between snow, so these two shades here. Um, but yeah, somebody had sent me a DM on Instagram a couple of months ago and <laughs> it was one of those messages that was, like it was random, it was just, it was very uncalled for, it was unnecessary and it was just, you know, there's, I can take constructive criticism and everything, but there's a fine line between giving someone constructive criticism and just being a downright bitch and just giving your negative and nasty and unwanted opinions or thoughts on things. But basically this girl had messaged me over DM and she basically said that how she was a diehard watcher of my channel and she would love to resubscribe because she unsubscribed months ago because she couldn't take watching me anymore. I was so hard to watch because of the laughing that I do throughout my videos. I'm sorry that I'm happy. <laughs> I couldn't be unnecessarily mean or nasty to somebody. If you trigger me or if you piss me off or if you start it, yeah, you're gonna get the wrath, the wrath of my laugh. <laughs> um, but no, it's just something that I wanted to bring up and talk about just in case any of you felt the same. <laughs> but no, I am aware and I can't help it. I try my damned hardest not to constantly laugh at the end of every sentence and do you know something? I'm like this in, I was going to say in real life, but I'm like this in person as well. So could you imagine being my friend? <laughs> Where like I'm literally trying to have a conversation with you and I'm laughing at the end of like everything I say. <laughs> I feel like this is going to either make or break this eye makeup look but I'm going to take my bronzer. My warm tone bronzer and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I want to introduce a bit of warmth at the brow bone slash upper crease. I'm just going to see what it looks like. I'll be able to fix it or I should be able to fix it if it doesn't work out. <laughs> um. And then I'm back at the two brush. Oh god. <laughs> That was definitely a smoker's voice there. I was like, and then back in my SV brush. So I just went off camera there to apply liner and lashes and do my lower lash line because my battery died. So I had to go and charge that. <laughs> so basically my lower lash line, I just done, um, what shade was it? Wolf. I think it was a mixture between Wolf and Onyx and then I'm going to be taking my bronzer and also running that along the lower lash line. You, know, you see the way there's a bit of a warmth under here. So this is Brown Rose by Open Design. Oh, it's a shiny lip, or a, like a glossy, yeah, like a cream lipstick. Ugh. Damn, this is a lot of makeup. It's a really nice colour actually, but I just prefer my lips to be a wee bit more matte. So I'm going to go on with the lip cream. From Makeup Revolution. I absolutely love this stuff. I do not know how I'm not through it already. I use this all the time. The Makeup Revolution Whipped Lip Cream. I use it in the Shein Cinnamon. Is it? Burnt Cinnamon. 
This is a lot of makeup, right? <laughs> Definitely, but I love it. I'm actually really surprised at how nice the lips actually go with the eyes and vice versa and everything. But what do you think? Nice. I think maybe tomorrow, tomorrow and Monday is going to be like my last two days of filming with this palette. And then I might get on to just doing like a couple of other wee random makeup tutorials here and there. And then I definitely think I'm going to do um, basically what I'm doing with this palette with the Rich palette that was launched like so many months ago with, um, not Colourpop, Beauty Bay. Oh, let's look at my teeth. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.